Oh, can you believe it? It's been 20 years since Hugh Grant reminded us all that love actually is still around. And to celebrate the beloved and hilarious holiday classic, our friend, our good friend, Diane Sawyer, hosting a primetime special tonight featuring interviews with the stars of the movie and behind the scenes secrets. And here is your first look at the laughter and secrets of love actually 20 years later, a Diane Sawyer special. It's a little film that has become a global sensation. We've all watched Love Actually for more than 4.6 billion minutes. Audiences all over the world. A holiday favorite that keeps giving the competition a run for its money year after year after year. And people don't just watch, they rewatch and rewatch and then recreate their favorite scenes. Like this scene in the movie, The Cue Card Declaration. Everyone tries that. Everyone. Even someone on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and when the movie features a prime minister doing a really embarrassing dance, all of us in our living rooms try it too. So we decided to travel to London to find the people who made that beloved movie 20 years ago to talk to them about hilarity, heartbreak, and how we love then and now. Cameras going, phones off. We're in the offices of a film studio. Oh, yeah. Someone is rushing down the hall. Oh, no, in it's here. Emma Thompson. Oh, poster for love, actually, oddly enough. I know. <laughs> You're here. I don't know if surprised is the word. Do you get why it's become this thing? I so do. I so get it. You know? Yeah, because I think that we forget, time and time again, we forget that love is all that matters. It's all that matters. <laughs> and she wasn't the only big star who signed on for the movie. We're at a rooftop overlooking central London. Hello, hello. Love. You have a huge crew. We do, because it's you. Oh, yeah, you know I, what I mean? I am important. Hugh Grant plays the prime minister who inconveniently falls in love with someone in his office, tries to avoid seeing her, but ends up knocking on random doors to find her. Is uh, Natalie here? The part was written especially for him by the writer and director Richard Curtis, who's also his friend. A, he is funny. That's just a black and white thing. He's funny. And B, it comes from the heart, it's true. Lessons in all kinds of complicated love brought to you by an outlandish aging rock star, a little boy with a crush who needs his stepdad's help, and a mother who teaches us about shattered dreams and how you hold on when love has been changed by life. And ambivalent love is still love. Yes, and, and it's still love. And unrequited love, which is the most painful thing on the planet, but it's still love. My grandmother used to say, your heart's no good as a heart until it's been broken at least 10 times. You know, that there's somehow something about the scar tissue that makes it stronger. And here is the man who wrote and directed this movie. Curtis is the writer behind Four Weddings and a Funeral, Bridget Jones' Diary, and that unforgettable moment in Notting Hill. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. He says he still wants to write about the ways we're good to each other in a world that has so many movies filled with trauma and violence. We get thousands of films about serial killers and there's only ever been about nine of them. And yet there'll be a million people falling in love, feeling it's the most interesting moment of their lives. I do think the way to think about life is that every day has the potential in all its simplicity just to be, just to be gorgeous. The message of a film 20 years old, back when all these characters were a new idea, and back when one scene almost didn't happen. As we know, the prime minister was a big star who kind of enjoys his reputation for being stubborn. He's supposed to improvise a kind of victory dance, but he won't. I, remember, I think I saw it in the script and I thought, well, I'll hate doing that. He kept saying no. But how did you get him on that day to that point? Oh, he was grumpy. He was grumpy, but he knew. It was a contractual obligation, a bit of contractual obligation acting. And so 
he starts. Yes. And what are you thinking of it? I'm thinking, oh, good, he's doing it. Two, that's agonizingly embarrassing. He's just, he's just perfect. And I'm out of rhythm, by the way, especially at the beginning when I wiggle my arm. a later bit, right at the end, and I'm sort of doing this, when my lips are out of sync with the song. <laughs> but I will give myself this credit. It was my idea to have that, a secretary lady, catch me. Genius. Nice. <laughs> so tonight, come to laugh and take a look around you at the love you may not have noticed, that in fact make it the best day of your life. I do love that. <laughs> That's baby song. Uh, it's yeah. interesting to hear the backstory on that dance, though. Uh, the Laughter and Secrets of Love, actually, 20 years later, Diane Tory special airs tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern, on ABC, and tomorrow on Hulu. Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.